Hello guys, this is Teresa Love with Kingdom Initiatives. Welcome to Sunset Wednesday's Prayer and Healing Service. Um, I am not outside, you know, I am um, actually, I've been for the last month, um, you know, relocated and I have been dealing with allergies, um, fever, um, you name it, <laughs> spiritual warfare, um, just all sorts of things, but God is so good and he's faithful, you know, um, this morning I, I woke up, felt like I had a fever, um, you know, I was, when I went to bed, I was feeling good and, and, um, everything had a, a, a very blessed day yesterday and, um, but like I said, woke up, um, with spiritual warfare, woke up, you know, not feeling great and everything. But um, I heard God say, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. And um, and I was like, well, you know, prayer is powerful. And um, so I kind of bundled up, went for a long walk and um, came back and said, you know, I'm going to do this, you know. Um, yeah, so here I am, um, prayer and healing service. Um, yeah sunset wednesday so let's just go into prayer i'm just gonna release what's on my heart and we're gonna pray um holy spirit i thank you you're the comforter when we're weak you're strong in us so i ask in the name of jesus that you just use me and bring um healing to our mortal bodies, to our minds. Put us at the point where we see the redemption of Jesus. Set us far above the tyranny of this world so we can lock eyes with our destiny. See and hear the rhema word of God so we may be propelled into our destinies, living as Christ was crucified so we can flourish and, and, and reign in a kingdom that has no end. I thank you right now that you'll fill my mouth, you'll fill my heart, and that every word will bless the hearer. Every word will bring the healing manifestation of who Jesus is in and through us. May the Spirit of the living God, Holy Spirit, may you rule and reign right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 amen. Yes, um, I just hear, you know, I pray for you. You pray for me. We're all part of God's family. So, um, yeah, I pray for you. You pray for me because we're all of God's family. You know, God is doing some mighty things um, at this time. During the these difficult times, God is truly moving. And, um, you know, you can feel the 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 energy um around especially when you're walking as best you can with you know in humility um striving to be holy for our father is holy doing the right thing no matter you know what it looks like what it feels like and um you know because i i <laughs> you know that's why the bible tells us to take our, our thoughts captive and it's so good that you know god warns us if we listen before things happen you know he'll give us a, a subtle warning before the enemy tries to attack so you know he had already been saying stay close keep your eyes on me and everything and um because you know i'm just like okay lord you know here i am you know um being obedient and and following after your heart you know i'm worshiping i'm i'm fasting i'm doing all those things you know i am uh, allowing you to to lead me and everything like that and and i am like still so like um the enemy's trying to attack from all corners and everything and i'm just like <laughs> i just like looked up at the lord i was like lord look at me jesus look at me <laughs> oh my god oh you know I'm, fever and, and I've been coughing and sneezing and all kind of stuff, you know, a whole, you know, month that I've been here and 
yeah, now this big paper blister and just all these things or whatever. And then, of course, I was quickly after that saying, but I know, Lord. Oh, when you went to the cross for me, and then I would just shut up, you know, <laughs> just shut up. And I could just hear him smiling, you know, he's so good and he just loves us so much. And I just feel in my heart of hearts that, you know, I'm so grateful that in a lot of ways, he's just trying to prepare us, you know, he's trying to prepare us to endure because, you know, we, we're going to have to be able to endure some things. And, you know, the enemy, like I said, he always tries to attack me in my body or, you know, my face or something. And, um, you know, for the last week I've had like this, 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 like, um, you know, headache and just all kind of things. And I'm just like, you know, if I could just have a, a moment, you know, but then I said, you know what, you know, God, you're with me, you're covering me. And I know that is something that I need to learn, you know, from this. Cause again, the enemy can't do anything that God does not allow. And, um, and a lot of times he wants us to know that we're stronger and the authority that we have within Jesus Christ, we have to stand up and say enough is enough you know and um so yeah um the power that the creator that lives within us you know we have to 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 really like i said come to a a point again where destiny and our our um the time that God has, the the very point in, in time and place God has put us in. Because again, you and I in this particular time, even though it's, it's, it's challenging and everything, we were truly, and I know this is kind of like cliche, but we were born for this. We were born, you know, for this very moment. And God has endowed us, like I said, with all authority, all power, those that are within Christ Jesus. And, um... We are his children, and, and we are his hands and his feet in this world right now. And he's truly trying to tell us to, you know, um, rise above, rise above, because I've conquered everything. I've, I've won everything, you know. And um, I take communion, you know, and I don't take it religiously. I really see it as the fruit of life. I see, you know, his body as my healing and, 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 and the blood of Jesus as the resurrection power. You know, even when I didn't know a lot about, you know, Jesus and the Trinity and and God taught me, the Holy Spirit taught me before I he, he taught me and gave me clarity on things, you know. Um, I just remember, you know, that part as a little girl that, you know, Jesus, you know, broke bread and, 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 um, and, and they drank wine, you know, after him and, and things like that. You know, of course, later on, I, I know that it represents the covenant, you know, uh, his covenant, his protection, you know, um, giving us power to rule and reign. So I, please, you know, take that to prayer those that need healing in their bodies, in their mind, or, you know, there's warfare or things like that, start taking communion, you know, ask the Holy Spirit. Also, you know, there's, there are things that, you know, only come out through, you know, prayer and fasting. So seek the Holy Spirit because again, you know, Jesus died to give us healing and everything, but sometimes we have to, um, do certain things in order to receive it and it's only like i said for us to truly understand who we are whose we are and what has been given you know again we're in a falling world but god said in this world we would have trouble but again jesus has overcome everything you know we look at the new covenant i'm looking here and i'm like we're sealed with new birth those of us that are within jesus um Jesus is our high priest. He's our advocate. He's at the right hand of the Father, you know, and our, the Father is the judge, you know, and through the blood of Jesus, you and I are free. We are healed, but again, we have to know how to walk in that, that, um, that freedom and everything that he, he died and rose to give us. Um, our bodies are the temples of God. You know, that's why I was like, look, look, Lord, Holy Spirit, heal your temple, you know. 
<laughs> and um, like I said, I know the Lord always tries to, to get me to understand like he wants you to, again, whose you are, whose you are. And to understand he moved, he has, he's overcome hell for you and I. And we have to stand in that authority. And he's getting us there. He's getting us there, you know. Amen, Jesus. You know, um, again, the Lord's Supper and our healing. Um, it's just, just so profound. And I know the Lord is telling a lot of us, you know again to really truly understand what that means for you and I um our mindsets you know we have to truly understand we're not our emotions and and I I oh gosh I understand pain because like I said for the last week I've just had this head throbbing pain and I know it's an attack of the enemy and, and, um, you know, I, even now I hear God's like, you know, trying to teach you to rise above or rise above. And, and, but I think back to the, the book of revelation and it's going to say, you know, nobody would survive if God will not intervene, you know, in those days. And, um, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, if Lord, if I, yeah, I need you to get through this, we're really going to need you. And then it causes me to pray. It truly causes me to pray. But God is actually bringing something to my um, remembrance too. I had a dream and in that dream, it was America and it was China. And it was like the enemy of this world leadership. You have it. We're drilling holes in our head and America, we were able to, people that I saw, like I said, they were able to, you know, spit some things out or whatever. But then uh, the people of China, they were being drilled into their head, but they their mouths were bound and they couldn't, you know, they just could not um, walk in, in freedom and liberty. And I remember saying they're winning, they're winning. And I woke up. And the Lord was letting me know it was, you know, it was, it was demonic. It was, you know, spirit of the, um, you know, uh, a deafening spirit that's trying to, you know, mute us and, 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 and really try to take our lives. And we have to pray. We have to pray for the healing of our land. We have to pray for leadership as the Lord directs so it can be well with us. We have to truly not be lukewarm. We have to pray for the healing of the nations. I feel the Lord right now so strongly. So we're going to just go into prayer right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you that you're moving and you're moving mightily. I thank you that you're pushing back. You're pushing back the darkness and you're leading us into the light, God. You are leading us to the light. The light is your son. The light is, is, is Jesus. <laughs> I thank you. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're moving like an all-consuming fire, and you are, you are righting the wrongs of this land. You're righting the wrongs, Father, that, that you're scattering the enemy, and that you're totally bringing devastation, Father, to the enemy, to the enemy in the name of Jesus into their own camp, Father, the things that they're releasing to harm the people of the nation, to harm your people, Father. I pray in the name of Jesus that you destroy this demonic stronghold that you destroy their agendas father in the name of jesus not the people but the spirits that they have accepted that is working within them and everything father i thank you that you know what to do father but we're standing and we're 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 crying out to you right now father have your will we're we're relying on your sovereignty right now father on your sovereignty father to bring justice father justice justice in the name of jesus father Father, heal this land, heal the hearts of your people and the mindset, Father. I thank you, Father, that you are coming right now, um, breaking the strongholds of oppression in Jesus' mighty name, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, break oppression now in Jesus' mighty name. Radicate, Father, this virus that is trying to run rampant, that man release God. Radicate it right now by the blood of Jesus, Father. You can do anything. We thank you, Father. We thank you that we will not, they will, the enemy will not shed our mouths. He will not shed our mouths, but we will rise up. We will rise up 
we will cry out. We will cry out. Our souls will cry out to you, Father. We're not voice without uh, a voice. We are not voiceless, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that your blood, your blood is speaking a better word, just like Abel's blood cried out from the grave, God. Your blood, the blood of Jesus that runs through our veins that this nation was founded on, Father, that it is rising up. It is rising up the 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 forefathers father that that look to you god i don't care what people say but look to you look to jesus the lord and the word of the living god father to build this nation god bring back bring back father to this original intent god only you can do this holy spirit we thank you for touching hearts father to love to love thy neighbor, to love thy neighbor, to want to help thy neighbor, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. They're wondering why they can't prosper. They don't have prosperity of soul, Father, because they're looking at their own needs and wants, Father. And you tell us the kingdom is just the opposite. The kingdom is to look around and help someone else, Father, and then you will be blessed. We are made to be blessed, to be a blessing, not to hoard, not to come against one another, Father. I thank you in the name of Jesus, that you're setting minds, Father. You're truly resetting minds, Father, recalibrating the, the, the calibration of their hearts to see the truth. And that's through Jesus, through the eyes of Jesus, Father. I thank you, God, just for moving right now. Just move in this, 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 this place that we're in, this, 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 this place and time where the enemy is trying to bring destruction and division, Father, by your mercy, by your mercy, God, by your mercy, God, come in, come in and save us, God, Holy Spirit, heal, heal this land, heal our hearts, start with each one of us, each one of us, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, touch the fathers, touch the fathers, God, heal their hearts, Touch your sons and your daughters and heal each individual heart to trust you, to move as you tell them to move, to love as you tell them to love, to bring forth the harvest in the name of Jesus. Your patient and your long suffering. Allow us to see your light. Allow your light to shine in our hearts this day, God. Only you can draw the hearts of man. Bring forth the harvest, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Let not our hearts be troubled, but to trust in what has already been done, the finished work of the cross today. It doesn't matter what man thinks. It does not matter what man thinks. You see your sons and daughters. You see everything, actually. You see everything. Nothing is hidden from you. And those that are deceived and those that think it is, Father, where they plot in vain, you say they plot in vain against you. May justice prevail, Father. May justice prevail in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, and amen, and amen, and amen, amen, amen. Well, I bless you in the name of Jesus on this Wednesday. And, um, oh, just stay in a place of surrender. Like I said, I know it's not easy. But the Lord is getting us ready for a mighty, I hear that there's this is birth and pains. But the Lord is getting us ready for some mighty things. And we have to be warriors. We have to be vigilant. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. God is really, truly speaking. And like I said, that vision that I saw is no joke. I saw the tyranny. I saw the, it was just 
it was just horrific. It really, truly was. We have to pray. Prayer is powerful. And not just pray for your family. Make a decision today that you'll ask the Lord, you'll ask Holy Spirit who to pray for and diligently pray for that person. Amen. Well, I love you guys and um, yeah, be blessed.